Hey guys, so I recently traded in my old iPhone and I bought this, the iPhone 13 Pro. So what I've had for the past year with phones has been pretty weird and complicated. So first, I had an iPhone 12 mini, which I still have. I bought that in December of 2020. Didn't really like it, so I ended up buying a 12 Pro in March. And I didn't really like that either just because of how the screen size was. So I ended up buying an iPhone 10, which I used for a bit before I went back to the 12 Pro for about half a month. My sister needed a new phone, so I ended up giving her my 12 Pro and buying a 12 Pro Max. And then um, my dad lost his phone for about a week in the house and then he bought the 13 Pro and he found the uh, 12 Pro. So I ended up giving my mom the 12 Pro Max and taking the 12 Pro. Since the 12 Pro Max was so new, I didn't want to trade it in yet. And I ended up, um, since my dad did buy um, a 13 Pro, um, I ended up trading in that 12 Pro and buying this. So that's pretty much what my phone's uh, situation has been for the past year. I also had an S21 for a while there. Don't really like that phone either, but this is a nice phone. I really like it. This is the one in um, Pacific, no, this is Sierra Blue. I never liked Pacific Blue after I bought uh, my 12 Pro, but this just looks really nice. Um, I was worried I wouldn't like it, but it does not show up on cameras how it does in real life really if you look this is even a bit different um when you look at it compared to the box um but i do kind of like it more in real life um i also bought this uh in Scipio case i bought it because it was the only case that um really looked like the rhino shield mod nx with the back panel and i really like the back panel this is the 256 gigabyte version I was thinking about getting 512, but, um, decided not to, and saved a bit of money there. I ended up doing the T-Mobile trade-in promotion and getting $800 for the 256GB iPhone 12 Pro. Um, so that's actually really cool. So I'd say, for the price that I paid, um, and I also got $100 off with Best Buy, so this phone ended up being $999. I ended up buying Apple Care too, and a, um, screen protector. I bought this one because it was edge to edge. I can't stand the screen protectors which like cut the notch out. And this is edge to edge and I really like that. Finally Apple moved this up so it's just uninterrupted. My initial thoughts on this phone are very good. I really do like the camera. Um, it's the first time I've really got excited about a phone camera since 2016 with the iPhone 7 Plus. And, um, yeah, back in 2018, I used to record all my videos on an iPhone 10, and that might just end up happening, because this is just such a nice phone camera. Cinematic mode is good, although it's a bit inaccurate, and it does the same edge effect as portrait mode does. And, um, yeah, the overall photos this takes is way better than the 12 Pro. And I did not really like the 12 Pro camera. I don't know why, it just never seemed that good to me. But yeah, the battery life, although something I don't really care about in a phone anymore, it's, I mean, good, I guess. Um, when I got it, it had around 80% battery. And now, after restoring my backup of my 12 Pro, it has 42. So I did end up putting it on a uh, wireless charger for, like, 10 seconds, just to see if the wireless charger was even plugged in. Um, so yeah, this phone is really nice. I really look forward to using this for a couple more years, or not years, but about a, a year maybe. Depends on what the next iPhone is, but uh, I usually just upgrade after a year anyway. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and goodbye.